Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. Insane freaking delicious steak with chimichurri butter. I know you want it. I want to stick my teeth into this. But before I do, I'm going to show you exactly how to make this. And it all starts by making the chimichurri butter. First thing that I want to do is chop up some parsley. I want to make sure I get it fine enough so that it doesn't get stuck between your teeth until all that's left are tiny little flakes. Then it's time to chop fine a piece of garlic. I'm gonna press it fine with the tip of my knife until it turns into a puree. Breaking down all the fibers and releasing all of the flavor. And of course I want some heat so I got a red hot chili pepper. I'm gonna open that up, take out the seeds and chop it fine. And now comes the butter. Beautiful Dutch butter made from our Holsteiner milk cows. I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of fleur de sel salt, a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and half a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. The olive oil is going to make this butter rich and creamy, and the vinegar is gonna bring the acidity that we need to give that real chimichurri flavor to the butter. Now, we don't have that thick consistency anymore that you get with butter. It's now became like a more loose structure but it looks really really tasty like it should like you want a chimichurri butter to be oh chimichurri mitchell you gotta try this man chimichurri butter Whoa. now i'm gonna grab a sheet of paper Put the butter on. I'm shaping it into a nice butter roll. Rolled up chimichurri butter. This goes into the fridge to firm up. Then we're gonna be cooking a steak. We're gonna prepare. We're gonna fire up the Kamado Joe, get it nice and hot. So once this is done, we can start cooking. I'm gonna start by putting in some Kamado Joe big block. Then I'm gonna put in two fire starters, light them up. And to make sure that I have enough airflow, I'm going to open up the bottom vent and wait for my charcoal to be fully lit up. And once lit up, I'm going to create a direct and indirect zone by placing in a heat deflector and a grill grate at almost the same level. That's for searing. And then this grill grate is going to go in a high position for indirect cooking, which is what we're going to do first. And for the steak, I have a beautiful six weeks dry aged New York strip steak. Absolutely gorgeous with a good amount of intermuscular fat this thing is going to be the star of the show and we're going to cook it reverse sear method which means i'm going to bring it up to temperature slowly by smoking it with the charcoal and then searing it off to make sure that i know what the core temperature of this steak is i'm going to stick in a thermometer of course it's going to go into the thickest part of the steak that center and now it's ready to go in the grill i'm going to place this over indirect heat so there's the heat deflector I'm gonna place this steak on. I'm gonna close the lid again and I'm going to dial in the Kamado Joe at a temperature of around 140 degrees Celsius. And that 140 is the perfect temperature to slowly cook that steak, making sure we keep it nice and juicy. After two hours, the butter looks like that. It's nice and firmed up and it's time to cut it open and take a look at it. Look at that. <laughs> a nice, beautiful chimichurri butter. And the cool thing about adding the olive oil and the vinegar is that I can now still cut it even though it is very cold. Don't worry that you made too much. You can store this in your fridge for at least two weeks. And if you wanna see my secret trick of how I'm going to apply this to that steak, stick around. Remove steak from the fire. Hola, look at that steak. Oh, what a beauty. That dark red color that's on the outside of this steak, that's smoke flavor. I'm gonna let this steak rest for five minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna crank up my barbecue by opening the top and bottom vent. Now my Kamado Joe is hot, my steak is cold. So it's time to start searing. my steak is done and I was gonna get a little seasoning some salt some pepper get some beautiful cuts out of it look at that beautiful pig meat beautiful crust it is perfect as it is but how about that chimichurri butter how am I going to apply it I got a little secret that I'm gonna show you how to do it so it tastes the best because for the past 15 minutes 
I've been warming up this device in my little stove right here. And this thing, as you can see, is red glowing hot. It's a flamadou, and let me show you what to do with it. A piece of butter, the butter goes in the flamadou, and then it's going to melt all over that steak. Look at how good that looks. Oh yeah. I bet you never had steak like this before. Steak, chimichurri, butter. Butter, chimichurri steak, who cares? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I got a little piece of my teeth. Thanks for watching. Try this at home.